All right, guys, welcome to another live New York session. It is uh, October 18, 2023. And uh, before we get started here, we're going to check the. Uh, so we have no major news today for the USB, so that's good. Um, yeah, we'll trade Nas today. Uh, trade trade gold. So we're going to be utilizing the GSA strategy. So that's a mixture of using two indicators. One is the Vinny's uh, cheat code indicator and the CC trend indicator. And then we also uh, draw trading ranges to help us figure out what um, the overall trend in the market and the current trend in the market. For the one hour here, let's get started. <clears throat> So we'll turn on the cheat code indicator. Um, and as we can see, we don't have no buy or sell signal at current price. So we're not going to buy and do anything here. Um, so then what we're going to do is we want to figure out what is the overall trend. Um, so we can clearly see that price has been trending up and breaking previous highs. So I'm going to conclude that price is overall bullish. And I want to turn on the T of the, the CC trend indicator to give me confirmation on that. Which um, in this case it is true. Because of course, when we look at the current trend, it's letting us know that price is starting to trend downward. So that's fine. So overall, so overall, price is overall bullish. But currently it's going bearish, and that's what it looks like. So let's move on to the 15 minute. <clears throat> so when you look at the 15 minute here, uh, we can clearly see that when we look at the current price, price is overall bearish. Previous, a lot of previous lows are being broken. Okay. But that's what it looks like. Now, we just look at the CC trend indicator. It did, it did um, clarify that price is overall bearish. But let's just turn it on again to be sure. Uh -huh. Yeah, so you can see we have our two trend lines here, and our gray line is signaling that price is overall bearish. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a trend line here with the component. Right? So now I want to turn this off. And now, and since we're focusing on the current trend, I'm going to erase this trend line. Okay. Then we're going to draw our trading ranges. So when you really look at the last move here, uh, it originated from this swing low and this swing high here. And then this is the most recent breaking structure. So we're going to mark that up. So we started from this swing low to this swing high here. Then we have this point of structure. So let's move everything over to here. So it looks like we're in the bear. So I would say that we're in the bearish trading range. Want to mark this up so this is our swing high. This is our break of structure. This is our swing low. Okay. Now, now we're going to take our Fibonacci. And since we're in the various trading range, we're going to swing it from the most recent high to the most recent low. And we can see that price has respect rejected to 50% already. So we'll just label this as the uh, sell zone. That way we know exactly where it's at. And then we just want to mark our zone. But then what I'm looking for is price to really possibly pull back and maybe hit this area and then maybe continue to come down. Now let's turn on our um, 
Chief Code Indicator, and see if uh, our board is advanced in that structure. Which it does, we got it right here. So I would imagine that maybe price might be a current trend buy, maybe up to the structure and then come down and maybe sell some more, or possibly maybe come up here and then maybe sell some more. That's what I'm thinking. Um, so now uh, the 915 candle has already closed. So we're going to go ahead and just plan our trade. So ultimately, I'm looking for a sell. So if price comes up to the structure and decides to sell, let's say it does it up to this area that I'm looking to get at least 700 points of my ass at least. I'll put that there. We need to make TP2 over 900 points. Do. I'm thinking it's going to probably maybe stick out with those that then maybe buy up to here and come down and have no paper. Maybe he pulled out there and that's just like that destruction. Um, I need to come up here. I need to bring in so we can see price out here. Just a little bit more. That's good enough. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, let me go ahead and set my alerts, and then we're pretty much going to wait until. Uh, 829, then we'll put in our stock loss and take part in the way with the transaction. Be right back. All right, so loads has been set. So we pretty much going to wait until the uh, 929 candle. I'm probably going to go for a sell, but there's a possibility that price is probably going to maybe go up to get the structure and then maybe come down. That's not very good. Um, but one way to see, so when the 929 candle, Probably put that in, and then we just like price action and see what happens. Um, so we have, well, we probably have about, we have about seven minutes, maybe seven or eight minutes. But stay tuned, we'll be right back. All right, so day 29, so I'll go ahead and put it to stop loss to take part. It looks like it's seven now. But we'll see what the next candle does, but. We'll see what it does. Um, we have about 10 seconds here. So we're going to focus on price section. But we've already kind of set in that way. Uh, it looks like it's pushing out. So it might buy up to that structure. Just 
And the mind is going to go so far in there. I'll take the counter trend ball. We'll see what we get on that. But my name is right there. Let me see. Well, I was going to probably do a short term buy and maybe have to do a stretch of the and then go down and maybe that can't take it. It makes sense. Probably going to say about the next ten up there, so we can see the price of it compared. So, yeah, price is probably going to hit this structure, maybe this, maybe this line up here, and then sell down. So, <clears throat> well, but probably what it's going to do. There we go. All right, made uh, seventy dollars. But yeah, it's probably going to buy it to get structured and then probably further sell down. Or if it wipes out this previous high and we test that, then it's probably starting to go forward. Um, but it would be a, a counter trend buy. So it might hit the structure and we test it going down. <coughs> so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this recording. I can make it involved in this setting with you. Be right back. All right, so I documented my results. So I see demo once again. And then uh, this is how much I made. So I did jump into gold earlier this morning. My $80 in that, and $73 in NOS. So I told them I'm going to do $50 profit. I'm going to get a good people too. So I did that. Very, very good that. So as you can see on the chart, if you want to make sure my screen. Well, we can see that price bought all the way up to here outside the Bollinger Band, but in reality, it's really rejecting the buy. The price is probably going to shift and maybe sell some more down to here. But we got ourselves a good, decent kind of trend buy, so that's good. But we're probably going to get a uh, good sell opportunity later on. So I'm not jumping to that in right now. But ultimately, we made some profit in the New York session today, so that's great. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye.